That's right. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Woo! let's hear it for the waiver wire hot sauce. Woo! That's right. That was terrible. That was I'm, better. I'm cheer. Oh, well, I got one Bubba. to Puma. I'm All right. Cheer. We are going to start off this week with the mild but flavorful. Some might call it a Tempe 10, but we are going to start off with Josh Palmer. <laughs> yes, but people on Mill Avenue are heated oh. right now. No, they're not. They're they don't care. Just for us. They don't care. <laughs> they really don't care. We're going to start off with a Mike Williams replacement this week. Joshua Palmer is the second most targeted guy on an offense that throws the ball close to 75% of the time. This is the guy that you want to go out of the waiver wire. I don't know if you ruin your entire fab budget, but he's also got a great matchup this week against the Las Vegas Raiders, a team that he has torched over the last couple of games. It's like going to Casa Gambino. You want the mild but flavorful with Josh Palmer. All right, let's get <laughs> spicy. We're going to get spicy. We're going to do a little text mix. We're going to go, go down to Houston, where the only thing hotter is the trash cans being hit in the dugout. And we're going to go with Tank <laughs> Dell. This is an unexpected surprise. Kind of like when I went to Houston, I was like, this is actually a nice place. But no, it's a great <laughs> place. It's a great place. I love Houston. Actually. I didn't realize this. The Texans have attempted the seventh most passes this season, or the seventh highest percentage of passes this season. Uh, a quick departure of what we figured was going to happen when Bobby Sloa came down to take over this offense. We thought they were going to be run focused, but CJ Stroud has been dealing. Nico Collins, long gone. That's been off the menu for a long time. Tank Dell still available one week only. If you do not order it today, it is going to be gone. All right, let's go three <laughs> alarm. Three alarm. Oh, oh nice, nice you one. Almost hit Puma in the face. Romeo, <laughs> you almost hit Puma Romeo, in the face. Leave him alone. We're talking about Romeo Dobbs. Now, <laughs> you're sitting here asking yourself, how does a guy who played his college football in Reno, who lives in Lambeau now, what does he know about spice? Well, this guy is <laughs> nuclear when he gets near the touchdown area. He has five <laughs> touchdown area targets this season, and I don't know how Jordan Love is doing it. They're very efficient. They're very effective. I could sit here and hate on it, but Romeo Dobbs has been fantastic this season. They've got a decent enough matchup against the Lions this week. The Lions have been shutting down running backs on the ground, which means Jordan Love is going to have to throw. Romeo Dobbs is a great guy that you can fire up this Thursday. And now, who is ready? I'm ready. For El Diablo. El Diablo. El Diablo himself. <laughs> it is Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton. <laughs> this is the hottest he's ever been since he went to Nia Conchina. Back in his days at TCU, right there on Freeway 100. <laughs> this this guy, how did this ever make the air? I don't know. He that's a lot. Really that's a whole lot. Andy Dalton hot. Yeah. He is hot. What's up? His hair is fiery. He's got a fiery demeanor, and he is slinging the ball for the Carolina Panthers, and now he is going up to face one of the worst defenses in the NFL. If you are sitting there bummed out about your quarterback situation, you have a guy who has been underperforming. If you are ready to face El Diablo himself, <laughs> you go and you pick up Andy Dalton, and that, ladies oh, no. and gentlemen, is the waiver. I'm breaking stuff. Hey, you know what? This is what happens when you bring me to the small theater. I was used to the big stage. I was selling oh, out the TA Look set. It. And now I'm back here doing a residency for you because – did I break it? No, you really broke it. No way.